Welcome to At The Table With The Guernseys. I'm Erin and this is my wife, Michelle. So today we're going to do three recipes because tis the season, it's Christmas time, it's all the holiday fun, parties, family get together. So today we're gonna to do three appetizers, super easy. We think you're gonna love them. And um, yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be a good, it'll be a good time. First up today is a cheese ball. This one was a classic at my house growing up. Um, we always had one at holiday events. It's gonna take two blocks of cream cheese, eight ounces each, two cups of freshly grated cheddar cheese, or you can cheat and get the pre-grated stuff like I do, a couple of green onions, finely chopped, a teaspoon of Worcestershire, a teaspoon of hot sauce, dried parsley, half a teaspoon of garlic, oregano, a dash of black pepper. Once we form and chill that, we'll roll it in chopped pecans, guessing about two-thirds of a cup. It's quite simple. You take all the ingredients minus the pecans, throw them in your mixing bowl, and let it go. I form mine in a small bowl with plastic wrap and chill it, then roll it in the pecans to uh, put it out for presentation. Our next recipe is sausage balls. Now, um, it's not exactly the way we know it growing up. This recipe actually calls for Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. So you're gonna take a box of the mix with the seasoning packet, a cup, in a, a cup and a quarter of the shredded cheddar, an eight ounce cream cheese, and a pound of uncooked sausage. Dump it all in your mixer with your dough hook attachment. Get it going form into balls and put them in the oven. Super simple and uh, yeah, you can't go wrong. I mean, it's Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. <laughs> and for our final recipe, we don't have a real title for this. This is something that we've done for years, but it's always a crowd pleaser. Three ingredients. It is our baked Gouda spread. You're gonna use um, a round Gouda. I like to use the one that's not smoked, but we have smoked for our show today but uh, just make sure whatever you do take off the wax so you're gonna put that in the middle of a thawed out pie crust wrap the pie crust around it pop it in the oven for about 20 25 minutes around 350 degrees just make sure it's golden brown and it looks nice and you know done pull it out and while the pie plate is still hot you're going to pour um, I like personally blackberry preserves, um, raspberry, any kind of preserves or jam that you would like to pair with your cheese. And then people just dig in and put it on bread, put it on a cracker, whatever. It's just super yummy and people think it's super fancy. Totally not, but you know, make them think that. And that, there you go. In true holiday fashion, we have some friends here that are going to try the appetizers that we prepared tonight. This is Sherry and this is Ed and they go to our church and we're so excited that they're here today. Just remember we have our just traditional cheese ball, your Gouda and my pie crust, pie crust baked yumminess, whatever you want to call it. And then we have the sausage balls. So guys, just come on over. Dig in. Oh yeah, look at the Gouda. Gooey, gooey. The Gouda is very gooey. And you're just gonna wanna put that on crackers and, and go to town. Oh, and, and just a uh, pot holder. No, don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. We don't have insurance for that. <clears throat> so a couple of tips for the appetizers. Number one, and this is the biggest have everything in um have everything out in room temperature before you start because it just makes everything so much easier and then always invite a friend always invite a friend <laughs> thank you again for joining us for another episode of at the table with the guernseys we really hope that you try these recipes let us know um even share recipes or ideas that you'd like us to do for future videos and remember to love people and cook them good food. Like, subscribe. Ring the bell. That's it on YouTube for future videos. And have a very Merry Christmas.